Now we should show that mu naught is a free measure. So I claim that mu naught, sorry, not mu naught. Uh, this is mu x cross y. So mu x cross y is a pre measure on B naught. So to this end, let S be a union of S n n equal to 1 to infinity such that S n belong to B naught for all n and S also belongs to B naught. And suppose that, supposing that these S n's are disjoint, then we have to show that mu x cross y of S is equal to the sum mu x cross y of S n n equal to 1 to infinity. So, let us start with this following case. Uh, suppose that each S n is of the form a single Cartesian product E n cross F n where E n is in B x and F n is in B y for each uh, n for each n and then also that S is of the form E cross F. So, since we have that E cross F is equal to the union of E n cross F n, this implies that the indicator function of E cross F x comma y is equal to uh, the sum n equal to 1 to infinity of the indicator functions of E n cross F n at x comma y. But since we have a Cartesian product chi E cross F is nothing but chi E x chi f y and so this is this is for for all x y in e cross f of course uh, actually x cross y so this is true for all x y in the cartesian product and we have this point wise inequality and now we can re rewrite this as chi e x chi f y is equal to n equal to 1 to infinity chi e n x chi f n y. So, note that all these chi e chi f chi e n chi f n are uh, measurable functions in their respective with respect to their res respective uh, sigma algebras. And now we are going to integrate this formula that we have here. So, let us call this formula 1 and then integrating 1 with respect to mu y, what do we get? So, we get integral over y chi e x chi uh, f y. d mu y. So, this is for y and this is equal to the integral of the sum n equal to 1 to infinity chi e n x chi f n y d mu y. <coughs> so, the first on the left hand side this is simply this is constant and uh, for this integral. So, it is simply chi e x times the integral of chi f y, but this is nothing but mu y of f. 
and on the other hand for the RHS we have this is equal to by so these are all non negative functions non negative so by tonelli's theorem for inter uh, interchange of summation and integrals we have that this is equal to n equal to 1 to infinity integral y chi e n x chi f n y d mu y so this is by tonelli's theorem for interchanging integrals with infinite sums. So, but infinite sums of non-negative functions. So, we have this and now we can again simplify on the right hand side. So, this is equal to chi e n x multiplied by uh, mu y of f n. So, then we again have this point wise inequality chi e x mu y f equals the sum n equal to 1 to infinity chi e n x mu y of f n. And now we integrate with respect to x integrating with respect to mu x now we get integral x chi e x d uh, there is a mu y f d mu x x is equal to the integral again there is a sum n equal to 1 to infinity chi e n x mu y of f n d mu x right and then again we have on the left hand side this is a constant and will come out of the integral and then we only have mu x of e times mu y of f and on the right hand side again by Tonelli's theorem we can interchange the integral and the summation sign to get integral of chi e n x mu y f n d mu x but this is again nothing but mu x e n mu y f n and since this was on the uh, left hand side we have uh, mu x cross y of e cross f. So, we are we have chosen our s to be of this simple form and on the left right hand side we have n equal to 1 to infinity similarly mu x cross y e n cross f n which was these were all s n's. So, we have shown this formula that this formula holds when s n's have this simple form and s has this simple form. And now we can reduce the general case to this case as follows. Now suppose, suppose in general that s is equal to n equal to 1 to infinity s n where s n belongs to b x cross b y for all n. This is a disjoint union and further that s belongs to b x cross b y sorry this uh, these belong to b naught b naught and again we have b naught. Now, if we write s as a finite disjoint union a i cross b i i equal to 1 to n uh, again a finite disjoint union of course this a i cr cross b i uh, all these a i's and b i's belong to the respective 
uh, sigma algebras bx and by so by finite additivity additivity of mu x cross y we have we have that mu x cross y s is equal to this uh, finite sum i equal to 1 to n capital N a i cross uh, mu x cross y a i cross b i and now we can take uh, for each n we can take the intersection of s n with these uh, uh, with these uh, elementary products so it suffices to show to show again by finite additivity that that mu x cross y a i cross b i is equal to the sum uh, n equal to 1 to infinity mu x cross y s n intersection with a i cross b i. So, we have now reduced it to the case when s is a single elementary set, but on the right hand side these s n's may be may not be single elementary sets, but since s n belongs to this boolean algebra b naught, then again we can have a decomposition of s each s n into finitely many pieces. So, again write s n is equal to e n i or rather e i n or let me write e j n cross f j n j equal to 1 to n n. So, this is the uh, number of terms may differ for different s n's, but we still have a disjoint union of elements in B naught and then S n intersection A i cross B i is then a disjoint union of the form uh, G j cross H j j equal to 1 to some number m. So, uh, it holds or rather we can write for some g j in b x for all j in 1 to m and h j in b y for all j in 1 to m. So, we have again uh, used the fact that the intersection and cross product distribute over each other and then we can uh, write some disjoint union like this. On the other hand, then we have that mu x cross y s n intersection a i cross b i is equal to the sum j j equal to 1 to m mu x cross y g j cross h j and so we are again reducing it to elementary sets of this form and so therefore we have so these are of course dependent on n g j n and so m n here 
g j ends here and they are also dependent on i. So, we have to write everywhere n comma i So, everywhere it depends on n as well as i. Nevertheless, we still have this um, finite sum of elementary things and so we have reduced it to the previous case where all the essence were of elementary form in the product form as well as uh, this set S which is the union which is also the of the product form A i cross B i and so we have already shown this to be true and so the general case follows. The general case follows and so this implies that mu x cross y is a pre measure on B naught. So, now the Hahn Kolmogorov extension theorem, Hahn Kolmogorov extension theorem gives us an extension, an extension which we still denote by mu x uh, cross y uh, on a sigma algebra. Uh, on x cross y containing containing b naught and this implies that since uh, b cr b x cross b y is the smallest sigma algebra containing b naught this means that uh, this mu x cross y this extended mu x cross y is a measure on on b x cross b y and it automatically satisfies it satisfies the product product formula that mu x cross y e x e cross f is equal to mu x e times mu y f because it extends uh, uh, the same because it is extending the mu x cross y the pre measure defined on b naught. And now for the uniqueness part in fact this is where the sigma finiteness will play a part and this is a general uh, result that uh, if x uh, if x is sigma finite with respect to a pre measure mu naught on a boolean algebra algebra b naught which means that x is equal to the union countable union of x j s in the boolean algebra with uh, mu naught of x j finite for all j then uh, any extension any extension to a sigma algebra b containing b naught is unique meaning that if nu is another so let me call it mu here and if nu is another uh, measure on b then mu equal to nu on b. So, I will just give a reference for this general result you can try to prove it yourself, uh, but you can also look at 
Folland's theorem 1.14, which gives a result, uh, which gives a proof of this result. So, we also have uniqueness uh, in the sigma finite case.